Hello and welcome to more The Legend of Zelda. This is my second take at this episode. It's going up a day late and the reason for that is yesterday I recorded for over an hour and messed up in the dungeon so many times and I just could not get past certain parts because I'm an idiot plus I got extremely unlucky with bomb drops. I killed like hundreds of enemies trying to get a single bomb drop and it never happened, but let's not worry about that. So we're back here, and I'm at the very top right of the map, because for the next dungeon, we do have to buy an enemy bait to continue. So I'm up to 160 rupees. 60 is going to go towards the enemy bait right here, and the other 100 is going to go towards a... Or it's going to go towards the dungeon bomb upgrade. So that's what I grinded that up for. It just took me a few minutes killing some enemies. And I should mention that after messing up the recording last time, I had to reset my console, and my save was actually before level 7, so I had to repeat level 7. And while I was doing that, I had to use my potion, so even though last episode I ended with the blue potion, I now have no potion. But level 8, while it's confusing and frustrating and lots of traps and dead ends and stuff like that, in terms of actual difficulty as far as like us actually dying, it's pretty low. The enemies there are very easy, so I just don't see us really dying, so we'll be fine. I will have to get another potion before we do level 9, but for the time being, we'll be just fine, so do not even worry. So let's just go off to level 8. It's actually pretty easy to get to. We just go to this little area here, and we head off towards the left. And one thing I want to say is we definitely want to conserve our bombs as much as possible here, because there are a lot of Dodongos we have to bomb. But we just want to go to this screen right here, go to the fifth block, which is this one right here, and we have to bomb this to actually get inside the place. So there we go, there is the level 8 entrance, so in we go. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I practiced this another three runs since the uh, last recording attempt, and I'm probably still going to mess this up quite a bit, because I'm so bad at remembering like which walls you can bomb and which walls you can walk through and all those kinds of things. But the first thing we want to do is go right in here and skip past the red bubbles, because this is going to lead us to one of the dungeon items. Pretty much every screen in this dungeon, well not every screen, but a large majority, not even a large majority, a lot of the screens in this dungeon have um, secret passages. Now once we're into this room, we could kill these guys off and you might think that would open up that top path. It actually will not. And we could also push this block to open up a secret path. We don't want to go through that and we don't want to go through this door right here. Through this door is actually going to be blue bubbles, so if you got hit by the red bubbles in the first room you could go there, but you'll get trapped off and you'll have to go back to the start of the dungeon. Where we actually want to go is through the bottom wall right here. So once we're in this room, we've got some Dodongos, but these guys are optional. Once again, if you go to the right path, it's going to trap you off. We want to go down here. And now we've got to fight off these wall masters without getting hit by these bubbles. Or if we do get hit, just get hit by the blue one. Or you can use the bow and arrow if you're stuck in uh, a red bubble form. So with those guys dead... Ugh, I don't even need the sword, whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and push this right here, because the dungeon item right here is actually the magic wand. And with that item, with all the different enemies we have in this dungeon, it doesn't really matter if we're hit by the red bubbles, because the magic wand is pretty good at killing just about everything here. So I'm just gonna not worry too much about bubbles, we'll just use the magic wand for everything. So now let's get back out of here, and we want to go back up one screen. I guess I could try to get hit by a blue bubble. There we go. Oh. Well, I'm just not going to get hit. Whatever, like I said, we don't really need to worry too much about that. So we're going to skip the Dodongos here. And certain enemies I'm skipping, they might drop like a key or some rupees or maybe even uh, some bombs, something like that. But we're going to get the magic key in this dungeon as well, so I'm not really worried about getting that kind of stuff. And as long as our bombs are full, we'll be fine. And we'd probably use more bombs killing those guys anyways, so yeah. So what we just want to do here is kill those guys off, push that block right there, and then go inside this passage. And this one's going to bring us pretty much back to uh, the main area. And from there, we're just going to start going up. You could skip the magic wand if you want, but it's just so good. It's such a useful item for this dungeon with all the red bubbles, so it's definitely worth getting. So we're back on the right side with the main corridor, and we've got some psychedelic ropes right here. I'm going to be killing some enemies just to try to get rupees so that we can buy a red potion once we're done with this place. Alright, that's what I like to see, getting some rupees. Yeah, oh, that was actually two rupees stacked on top of each other, so we just got an extra ten right there. And like I was saying, secret passages all over the place. We don't need to take that one, but it is there. So now we've got some blue Garayas. We do have the enemy bait, which we could use, but I just don't really think it's that necessary. And plus the water's kind of splitting them apart anyways. But the magic wand is just so good at dealing with these guys that... I just don't even care to waste my time with the enemy bait, so let's kill those guys off. They actually were optional, but not a big deal. 
Although, actually, I'm just remembering, guys, I did forget one item. I believe when we go back to that Dodongo room, if I'm not mistaken, the map is to the right of them. So let me go back to the Dodongo room to get that real quick. And after we grab the map, I'll meet you guys back in that big doggo room. All right, we're back inside the room with the Dodongos, and I'm pretty sure we go this way to get the map. And then we actually have to go down from here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I am mistaken, unless it's a bomb path. Let me just try one more thing here. I just remember something about this room. I swear there's a map in here. Yes, there is. Okay, I knew I forgot something. So we're back here now, and now we just have to kill off these blue Garayas, and if we do that, then we'll get the map. So, yeah, my bad on forgetting that. Like I said, this place is pretty confusing. Lots of walls to walk through and bomb, and so many things to forget, so... It's just, it's pretty much the epitome of confusing dungeon. Actually, I, level 9 is probably the epitome of that, but... Aside from level 9, this is the most confusing dungeon, I would say. So let's go ahead and grab that. And as you can see, it is a spiral, kind of like how level 7 was, but it's kind of the opposite. So the spots that were blank on level 7 are now filled in for this, and the spots that were filled in for level 7 are now blank here. So let's go back to the Dig Dog room and continue on. Okay, so we're back in the Dig Dog room, and I'm actually going to skip past him right here. He does not drop anything, so don't worry about that. So here is where we have to drop off the enemy bait. I will say, though, if you do want to kill Dig Dogger, uh, don't waste your bombs here. What I would recommend is use the magic wand or your sword to kill off the little dude. So just play the whistle and start shooting that magic wand, and you should be just fine. Now, this room, we actually do want to kill the keys, because this is where we get the compass. You would think that you'd get the compass from the boss battle, but no, we get it from here. So let's just do my best to kill these guys off. Should be pretty easy. Keys are some of the easiest enemies in the game. So there's the compass, and you can see the Triforce Shard is at the very, very end of the spiral. So this room, we've just got to kill off some blue Garayas. And yeah, the enemies here are just so easy. Level 7 was mostly blue Dark Nuts. Earlier dungeons were mostly blue Wiz Robes. This place, blue Garayas. And Garayas are just such easy enemies compared to all the hard stuff. So we will get a key right there, but like I said earlier, we, we will get the magic key here. So I'm just not really too worried about that. We just got more blue Garayas. The downside is that if you do like to use the enemy bait a lot, they make you get rid of it pretty early on. So... We actually uh, can't use that against these guys anymore, but I just think it doesn't really even matter. Blue Garayas were scary back when we had, you know, no hearts, but now that we've got almost two full rows of them, not a big deal. So here we've got another battle with Dig Dogger, but once again it is optional, so I'm just going to skip past that guy. We just bombed the left wall right here, and we can keep going. Once again, I do want to conserve my bombs as much as possible, but you got to use them to blow up certain walls, so it's just something we have to do. Although I think we do get a bomb drop in this room, so what I want to do is touch the walls to get the wall masters to appear and just kill these guys off, and we should get a bomb drop. I think I'm actually still affected by the... Yeah, I'm still affected by the uh, red bubbles there. But one thing I want to point out, if you get the stopwatch like I just did right there, you actually can't get hit by the bubbles, so you have to leave the room and come back if you want to get hit by the blue guy. But let's just go through the key door right here, and here we have to fight three Dodongos, and we have to use our bombs for that. We want to be very careful to conserve our bombs because the thing is, certain troll paths later on, or if you get hit by a wall master, they will send you back in the dungeon and you'll have to fight these guys again. And I just wasted two bombs right there. That is not good. Sometimes they'll drop bombs for you, but not always. Okay, he actually ate it right there. I got very lucky that he turned into it. Let's just see if I can get this last guy without wasting anything. Okay, face me. Face me. There we go. Okay, just drop one more bomb in his face, and I can't stab him. Gosh dang it, hold on. Gotta wait for him to move again, because I can't stab because I was hit by a bubble. So I wasted 10 bombs on one room with no bomb drops. That is pretty unfortunate. Hopefully I can get through the rest of this place without too much trouble. The last boss, I will say, is Dodongos, but once we buy the bomb upgrade, we'll be able to get our bombs back, so I'm not too worried about that. So once we get to this room, we just push the block, and we want to go through the secret path here. And let's get the magic wand back out to help us deal with some of these guys. I, man, I can't remember if there's any more bombs we- or any more walls we have to bomb. I'm hoping there isn't, because I've only got those two left, so I gotta be very careful with them. So let's just go through here. Now, once we're in this room, we gotta be careful. There's gonna be wall masters, so what I want to do is sneak into the left room. We'll go to that bottom door in a bit. But first we want to go into here, kill off these Stalfos, which is very, very easy with the magic wand. They die almost instantly there. So we just kill those guys off. Ooh, grab some rupees, why not? Already back up to 130. Then we'll push that block, and inside here is where we're going to get the magic key. So we'll go grab that, and at this point we no longer have to worry about keys. So we've got the two extras right there, but it doesn't really matter. And we definitely want to get this before we go do level 9, it'll help out a lot, so... 
yeah, it's just definitely good to get. And it's really not that hard of an item to get. As long as you know where it is, you can just come grab it. Not really any tough enemies or any real tough trolls. So now we want to get through here, go through the bottom path without getting grabbed by a wall master. Magic wand out is great, so even if we're hit by bubbles, we'll be fine. And I guess there we go. So we'll just go on through here. And at this path, uh, let me make sure, let me look it up to make sure I don't go the wrong way here. Okay, so we actually want to take the only path we're even able to take, which is the left path. Here's where things get trolly. So we go inside this room, and we've got all of these psychedelic, ro psychedelic ropes, which make the game lag a lot. Once we kill a few off, the lag should calm down a little bit here. Okay, let's get them all killed off. It doesn't help that I'm spawning all this fire, which is making it lag even more, but... Alright, let's go ahead and kill these last ones off. And here's where things get trolly. We can push this block, which will actually open up a staircase. Do not take that. If you go through there, I think you might be able to get a key, but we don't need keys, and you have to repeat the entire dungeon. So instead, we're gonna walk down through the bottom wall right here, and try not to get grabbed by any wall masters if there are any. Let's see, I guess I'll kill these guys off real quick. Or maybe this is where we get a key. I think the other path might just be a genuine troll. I can't remember. Okay, this place is actually rupees, not a key. I believe the... A uh, secret path with the ropes would lead you to a key. So we'll go on through here, this corridor we don't really have to worry about. Killing these guys doesn't drop anything for you, so they're really just an obstacle. So we'll just go through there, open up this door with our magic key, and now we've got to fight some more blue Garayas. This time we actually do want to take the secret path, so no worries there. One screen to the right is where the bomb upgrade's gonna be, but we can't get there from here. We have to kind of go ahead and then backtrack towards it, so... Let's just kill these guys off so we can actually push the block. Ooh, you know, I'll actually grab that heart. Ooh, and we'll get some bombs as well. I don't think I'll be needing those since we're going to buy the bomb upgrade, but technically I could kill the Dodongos with these six bombs if I don't waste any. I mean, technically I think you can kill all three Dodongos with one bomb if you're really skilled and you drop it like right in their face, but yeah. So from this point, we've got some of these mole drums. Let's just go ahead and kill them off. And I believe we either bomb the bottom wall or we can walk through it, so... This is where we have to start backtracking. The boss is one block to the top, so we could go through. Okay, yeah, we have to bomb this, so we do need one more bomb for this place at least. So we'll go drop that. And this is going to help us work back towards the uh, the bomb upgrade. There's going to be some wall masters along the way, so I'm going to keep the magic wand out to do my best to avoid getting grabbed by those guys, because I still am affected by the, the red bubble. So let's just kill these guys off. I don't remember if they drop anything, but even if they just drop some rupees, I would be more than happy to take that. So any rupees are good, and we're getting a lot of health drops, which is great. And yep, they do drop five rupees, so we'll grab that, so I am getting closer to being able to afford a potion. Here we've got a battle with Aquamentus, but watch how easy he is with the magic wand. It is just so good against this guy. Look at that crud. It's kind of like having a sword beam that we can use even if we get hurt. So once we're in here, now we've got to watch out for the wall masters. So let me just kill these off real quick. I think there's just a few of them. Okay, we're actually gonna get hit by a blue bubble there, which is pretty nice. And there we go, we can push this block, and that one actually opens the left door. It's not open any kind of secret passage or anything. And once we go through here, now we can buy the bomb upgrade. So, I bet you'd like more, or I bet you'd like to have more bombs. Heck yeah, I would. So that'll put us up to 16. If I waste 16 bombs on the Dodongos and don't kill them, that is just embarrassing. So let's go get hit by the blue guy. Gonna get hit by the red one again, that's fine. We'll be able to use our sword after getting the Triforce Shard. So let me just backtrack a little bit here, and let's go fight the Dodongos. Okay, we're back into this room. Let's go through the top door with our magic key once again. And here we go! Let's not waste 16 bombs. Okay, just drop it in his face. I guess you have to wait a little bit before you drop it. Oh, I smoked him out, but I I can't do the smoke tactics because I can't stab them. Yeah, if you blow them up right in the face like that, and then you, uh... And then you stab with the sword, that will actually kill them, but I can't stab with the sword right now, so... Kind of complicates things a little bit here. And there we go. That's what I like to do. You drop one when they swallow it. You drop another one right in their face. That's not going to work. Come on. There we go. Let's get in there. And I missed right there. Still got five bombs. And there we go. We actually defeated them. So for doing that, we get the last heart container in the entire game. Bringing us up to a grand total of 16 hearts. Now we can go through the top and get the last Triforce Shard. Oh my gosh, I am so happy this actually went well. After yesterday, wasting like an hour, having to go into- I went to so many traps and dead ends, had to keep repeating the dungeon, which is a pain in the butt because I had to keep refighting those Dodongos, and I kept having to farm bomb drops, and I was not able to get bomb drops. I killed so many enemies that I got over 200 rupees, and then I went and had to actually buy bombs because I couldn't drop any. But of course, as soon as I went and bought bombs, the very first enemy after that actually dropped them. Because that's just how things work. 
but this time it went much better. We did it, guys. So that's going to be it for today. I'm actually getting on a plane in like four hours, so hopefully I'm able to get this video out and maybe get the finale done and get that out. If not, I'm so sorry, guys, but the finale won't be out for a couple of weeks. So I'll do my best to get it out before that plane trip, but, well, any any case, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.